Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another home video review for my at Flick Direct. And for today's home video review, I'm here to talk to you all about Black Widow in 4K. In case you guys have not seen Black Widow yet, Black Widow is one of the newer films of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This one taking place after the events of Captain America Civil War, to which, if you haven't seen that film, first of all, how? In the events of Black Widow, like I mentioned, this one takes place after the events of Civil War, and in Black Widow, we follow Natasha Romanoff, aka Black Widow, played by Scarlett Johansson, as we find her on the run after the events of that said film, as she's trying to reunite with her family to go to this place called the Red Room to destroy it once and for all. I was looking forward to this movie so much. From the trailers, it looked like it would be essentially this version's movie of The Winter Soldier, to which I absolutely love The Winter Soldier, so I was looking forward to seeing this movie's version of that set film and I gotta say I quite enjoyed this movie. I don't think it's top tier MCU like up there with Civil War, Black Panther, Infinity War, Endgame, Guardians of the Galaxy. However with that being said this movie is still really darn good. Performances wise everyone is great from Scarlett Johansson, Florence Pugh, Rachel Weisz, and David Harbour. There's really well done cinematography. The action sequences are very well done. I really like Lauren Balfe's score and there are parts within the plot so I found it explores grief and trauma in particular Florence Pugh's character I thought was really well done although in terms of my issues remember when I said from the trailer it looked like it would be this movie's version of essentially the Warner Soldier it's essentially a copy and paste Warner Soldier just without the touch or the feel or the care of Warner Soldier now I think this movie isn't bad because like I said I still enjoyed it but nonetheless though this movie wanted to go for a certain vibe that that Warner Soldier had and it doesn't quite make that vibe but still nonetheless I found this movie nonetheless very entertaining even if the villain wasn't quite up to standards of the MCU's best like would say Loki, Thanos, or even Killmonger for that matter. Getting right into the audio and video quality, starting off with the video quality, Black Widow in 4K is presented on an aspect ratio of 2391 and this movie looks really good in 4K. This movie won't absolutely blow your mind in 4K, but there are some sections that look very, really good, and I mean absolutely crystal clear and sharp with all the details. And there are some sections, I think really more with the CG, that don't have a more sharp picture than the rest of them. Although I will say, in terms of the close-ups, characters' faces look absolutely incredible. You can see every little blemish. There's also a particular sequence where David Harbour puts his armor on. You can see every little detail, whether it's some sort of wear and tear. This 4K does a really good job of showcasing all the details. The color spectrum looks really, really good. The contrast of the whites and darks. There's a particular part, actually, when Black Widow gets hit by some type of rocket and you see the fire. I gotta say the fire looked really really good however in terms of some of the CG there are sections where it looks really really good but then there are sections when it just doesn't look as good not that it just stands like a sore thumb but there are just some sections of the CG where it just doesn't quite look as good nonetheless video quality looks very very good moving on to the audio quality Black Widow is a Dolby Atmos track and what really surprised me even more so about this particular release was that the Atmos track isn't as bad big and as grand as I was expecting. There are some certain sequences, like for example, one of the bigger action sequences that doesn't take full advantage of all the channels in Dolby Atmos. However, I will say there is a sequence involving a helicopter to which you can hear every channel when you hear the helicopter's blades and it sounds absolutely amazing. There are some parts when the cars move back and forth and across the channels that does take full advantage there, but the movie doesn't take full advantage at times where it could be this grand epic spectacle matching the visuals you see on screen. Still nonetheless, the audio sounds great. When you hear an explosion, you get a nice bass response. The dialogue sounds crystal clear. With the audio levels properly mixed, the ambiance sounds great, and Lauren Balfe's score sounds absolutely incredible. Finally, moving on to the special features, Black Widow comes with a crap ton, and I mean a crap ton of special features. I mean, there is a lot to unpack here. First of all, for the featurettes, which are three of them, I enjoyed them all. However, there are two of them that stand out for me, titled Go Big If You're Going Home and Sisters Are Gonna Work It Out, which honestly was my favorite one. These were both very entertaining, although the Sisters Are Gonna Work It Out goes between the dynamic of Florence Pugh and Scarlett Johansson. If you love their character relationship, this is one I highly recommend you watch. There is a ton of deleted scenes, and it's a very fun blooper reel. All in all, what we have here is a very good and a very solid MCU film, even if I don't think it's quite top tier up there with Black Panther, Civil War, Infinity War, Endgame, and Guardians, but still we have a very good film nonetheless. A very good video quality, good audio quality, in fact it's pretty great, with some incredible special features, so guys, definitely 
pick this one up. I hope y'all enjoyed my home video review of Black Widow in 4K. If so, please hit that like button, also share, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell whenever the latest video from us goes live. If you guys want to see any of our previous two home video reviews, please click on the right there or there. And of course, until our next home video review, we'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Hit like, smash subscribe, and get notified for when our reviews, interviews, and news go live.